Big game today, playing against four NHL alumni players. That's Rick Natras, Rick Vave, Tom Fergus, and Warcheck Wolski. So make sure you smash that like button. It should be a good game, hopefully competitive. It is two hours though, so I don't know if my cameras will last, but we'll do our best. One of the guys from the NHL, he's in his 60s, but he used to play D, so hopefully he'll be able to help me out a little bit. I don't think I'll like keep score, but maybe who knows. Anyways, hit the like button, make sure to subscribe, and enjoy the game. All right, so on that goal there, I mean, two on O. It's really hard to tell whether or not they're gonna pass or not. I should have expected a shot, and uh, I was over too much to my right, and he just shot at glove side. So ultimately, just stay square to the puck. Make sure you don't cheat on those potential passes, and, and do your best. If you can stop the shot from going in, and they get the rebound, it is what it is. Oh. All right, so on that one there, pretty simple. If I made the stop in front of me, Rather than bringing my hand to the side, I would have been able to cover that up and there would have been no rebound. Oh, no. Wow, nice goal. Oh, I literally tipped that. Realistically, if I just did a power push, I would have been able to get over and stop that. But I did get a piece of it with my glove, just not enough. So that's where a slide is better, because you'll be able to cover up more of that net and get in front of the actual puck, rather than just relying on your glove. If you're ever in the position, say the net's behind me and you're down, instead of doing this, you're already pushing your leg up, just pull it up and slide and you'll you'll definitely make that save more often than you would if you tried diving to make it. I don't know how many goals I'm gonna break down, but that one's pretty simple. If I just pulled my right leg in once I slid over, I would have had the five hole covered and they wouldn't have scored that. So if you're trying to make those sliding saves, you wanna just pull your leg over so your five hole is not wide open. I'll show you, this is exactly what I should have done, where if once it was coming, I should have already had the five hole covered right here. But I guarantee if you watch that replay, I did this. And then brought my leg in, which was too slow. So. It was exaggerated, but I think you could see the point. Pull the leg in as soon as you push so that you close it and it also helps you get there faster. So it has two benefits.
Nice exception. All right, first half done. Now they're gonna flood, so I'm gonna pause my cameras. So this is a technically game number two. Um, they switched up the alumni so that it could be a little bit more fair both ways, and so I'm probably gonna get a lot more shots now and probably let in a lot more goals, we'll see. All right, enjoy the game. Enjoy the second part of the game. Ah, close. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. I think we got a high stick on the play there. All right, so on that one there, I just went down too early. I should have just waited, waited for the shot, and then just kept shuffling with the puck, and I would have been able to make that save, or at least get a better chance at making that save. So on that goal there, I think I might have tried to slide out and forward, but if I actually slid more across the net towards the post, I would have had a better chance of stopping that puck. There it is. Oh. Alright, so that goal went in simply just because I did what I said not to do in the first game where I tried to get it with my glove instead of using a slide to get over and make the save. That's all you gotta do, those goals won't go in if you just use a slide. I almost had it. Like it literally hit my glove and went in. Oh. I felt it, I had it. The real reason that went in, honestly, I looked up, I saw two guys wearing white jerseys, and then the last second, I see a stick shooting the puck towards me, and I didn't realize it was them, so uh, I should have just made that if I was ready to make the save. I gotta give the kid credit, that was a great goal there. I mean, I thought I had everything covered, but I think he just beat me over my shoulder. I am curious to see if I drop my hands down, and if I did, that's probably why that went in right there. Oh, oh I didn't even have it. Nice try, nice try. Let's see if I could squeeze another minute or so out of here. Let's see, is it memory or is it battery? It is, could be memory or it could be battery, I don't know. Battery says four, but chances are by the time I go away, it will die in a minute. Oh. 
Oh my god. Somehow this is still going though. Yeah, you're good, I got it. All right, so unfortunately my cameras couldn't record the rest of the game. They actually died shortly after this play here. But I just want to take one second to announce a brand new YouTube channel that I'm starting with my dad. Imagine if Honda, Yamaha, or even Harley Davidson had a YouTube channel when they first started. How cool would that be? Well, this is kind of like that. We're actually in the process of building a mini bike business and I plan on documenting the entire process on our new YouTube channel called Mantini Motors. So if you're interested in mini bikes or wanting to follow along on this amazing journey, be sure to click that link in the description to check out our new channel. Now, a few years later, I took these photos and at that moment, it hit me. We need to build a mini bike business, but we didn't know where to start.